Hey guys, Chris from Christos here. We're going to show you how to use the Sky RC E450 charger. Um, this is very similar to the Profit. I think it's like a sport mini charger, which is a red charger. Uh, these chargers are great. I actually use this charger personally. Uh, my daughter and I use this, and uh, I don't really let her use it too much, but I'll let her plug stuff in. You know, it's good. And uh, we, we like this charger a lot. It's a good charger. I'm not going to get into doing a full review, but this is a really great budget level charger. Works great with nickel metal hydrate and lipo. We want to show you how it works, okay? So we're going to start with a nickel metal hydrate battery, which is a very common, uh, very common battery to use with this charger and lipo. Now, the big thing with these is they do have these four millimeter banana connectors. They're compression fit. Simply inst insert them in the front, red to red, black to black. Very important that you have that like that. And now we have one connection here. Now your connections may differ, but we do have adapters. So they'll work with Traxxas batteries. They'll work with Dean's EC3, EC5. We can help solder you stuff like that. And we can take care of that all on the spot for you, okay? So don't worry about that when you're using this charger. We'll make sure it gets going for you, okay? So the big thing here is this is a nickel metal hydride battery, NIMH battery, okay? And we'll show you that right here, NIMH. It's a 5,000. Now this charger only goes up to four amp. So in this case, we're gonna put it to four. It's recommended to charge this at five, but lower is, is, is perfectly fine. We're gonna switch over to NIMH, okay? Just with the one button here. And then we're gonna push and hold for about three seconds. And the light is gonna go red. After a few minutes, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go to a blinking red and then a blinking, I believe it's like an orange, blinking green and then solid green, which will signify that it's fully charged. Other than that, you're good to go, okay? So we're not going to fully charge this now. I want to just go ahead and show you the operation. So we're going to disconnect. The charger resets itself right away, which is great. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect our lithium battery. So a lithium battery on this here, we've got a two cell, a three cell, and a four cell port. And in this case, this is a 2,000, this is a 5,000 milliamp hour two cell battery. So we're gonna plug this right in the front with the little arrows on the battery here. There's like little arrows. They face up towards the sky, okay? And then what we're gonna do, sky, sky RC. We're gonna connect that little guy right there. Plugs in nice and firm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select LIPO. Actually, it's usually better to connect. Uh, it's actually already start charging for us, and it's already on 4 amps, which is great. So it's flashing yellow, uh, like a yellow greenish, which means that it does have some charge in it, which is very common for lithium batteries. Um, and then it's going to go to more of a uh, flashing green and then a solid green. So that's it, okay? Now, I know that threw you a bit of a curveball there, so I'm just going to connect it in an alternative way. So what we're going to do for LiPo battery is we've got two different settings here. So this is a 5,000 milliamp hour two cell battery. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna select the amperage, which is four amp, just like the other 5,000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride. Four amp is the closest to 5,000, so we're good to go. We're gonna connect the main charge lead right here, nice and firm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this little guy here, the balance lead, with the little arrows facing up towards the sky, okay? So these are gonna face up towards the sky and they're gonna go into the first port right in here. So we have two cell, three cell, four cell, okay? So we're simply gonna plug that into the side like that, okay? And then it actually activates LiPo mode right away and starts charging right away for us so we don't actually have to hit the press and start hold button. So other than that, though, nice and easily, okay? So we plug it in, it all self-regulates, you're good to go, you could leave this. Now, another thing to be cautious of, um, you know, we're, we're giving you advice here. This is something where you want to be home all the time. We're This is for informational purposes only. We're not held liable if you burn down your house because you're not paying attention, you're hooking things up backwards, you're doing a lot of things like that. Okay, that's, that's on you, okay? So make sure that you're cautious with how you use any electronics and any RC car. I know I sound like your mother right now, but that's it, guys. And this this will charge up really good for you. And then when you're uh, and when you're done, you can just simply disconnect, disconnect. And like you see, how I'm grabbing that connector, nice and firm. That's it. All right, guys. If you have any questions about the E450 charger, uh, you can always feel free to give us a call. We prefer to answer questions for batteries and chargers in person when you have the equipment. And that's for obvious reasons. So we make sure you get the thumbs up perfect info. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.